guys, we made it to New Jersey and New York safe and sound. So we stopped at this little um, rest stop that had bears outside of it in Maine. Uh, we stopped there because people needed to use the bathroom and we had some people who had gotten stomach sick on our trip down and we needed to kind of clean up after that. And we ended up making coffee because we needed coffee. We woke up at four. Actually, we woke up at three and we left at four so that we could make this trip and get a lot of hours under our belt while children were still sleeping. So they were waking up and getting ready. So then we stopped in Massachusetts. Um, some She had gotten sick again and some people wanted to stop. They just needed to stretch their legs. So you can just Google search parks and I Google searched parks and I found this fun park. <clears throat> they had a... Um, a fire truck outside and there was some picnic tables and stuff and so the kids were able to um, play at this park that was in Auburn which was good because it was like in between right before we were going to switch on another highway. So we made it finally to New York City. We were excited when we first saw um, New York City although it had taken so long so most of the people in the vehicle were totally done with traveling by that point. So we left at four in the morning and we planned to be there by three in the afternoon. That was the first check-in time. And so we were trying to do that, but there were a lot of accidents on the road that we were on. We tried to avoid some, but it didn't really work out to avoid all the accidents. Um, and so we were sitting a lot um, on that trip from like Connecticut into New York. So we ended up our arrival time was almost six o'clock. It was like five minutes before six. So we were actually delayed like three hours. So we had been on the road from four in the morning until six that night. It was a long day. They do have like little rest stops you can stop off, which is nice on that road. I think it was 15, which was really nice. When we got into the city though, the kids were excited. They did see this tunnel that really kind of changed them around like, oh, we're in a city because we're, you know, country people and the kids have never seen um, tunnels and stuff before. Even though my husband and I, we came from areas that there would have been stuff like that. But the kids were so excited to be driving like underneath the city. So they were super excited. It is really hard actually driving now in the city, even though we like grew up around driving on highways and stuff, but it's been so long. So we arrived in our hotel room and the kids were just so ready to get in their snuggly jammies, but not exactly ready for bed because they had been sleeping on and off all day. So we ended up getting them all snuggly and getting them some food and um, watching a little bit of TV. And so they had fun. They were just so done you know it's so confusing for kid for younger kids when they can't understand what we're actually doing next I know you probably all know that but they were excited so they were on the on the bed there and just getting ready to watch a movie I have a little um tablet or whatever too that I kind of just let my our two-year-old watch something until she kind of falls asleep probably not the best way to go about things but she has a loud voice and in a hotel room we did not want her loud voice to wake everyone else up so we did while we were there also go and look at the lights it was kind of cool so good morning New York we could see it from the window as you can see and we were ready to get ready for the day and start getting traveling it was yucky though. It was so rainy. It was like pelting snow. You have to go through like airport security to get um, to the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island and then you had to wait outside. So that was not the best waiting outside experience we have experienced. It was, it was cold and it was snowing slash sleeting and the wind was just like blowing it into your face. It was horrible. Um, but I, we were trying to stay positive and just like, okay, hopefully it will clear off. And it did. Um, praise the Lord that it cleared off because if it had been like that all day, um, it would have been a really rough day. And so that was our cruise. They still had fun. They were so excited. So they were on a boat, which they hadn't been on before. And they were looking at like everything outside because there's lots of um, different boats in the area so you could see the boats going back and forth and then they could um, 
they could see like the Statue of Liberty when we got closer. Um, but what they do is they take you to Ellis Island first and then to the statue. But because the day was so yucky, we pretty much had the boat with maybe 20 other people. So here's our family. We were just on the boat for the first time, so excited. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much have the boat to yourself. There was only literally like a handful of people that were on that same boat. And those boats can have a lot of people. I think there was maybe you know, 15 other people on the bottom deck and other people were up on the top deck. And they're fully heated. There's restrooms on there. There's like a little like food place. It's really kind of crazy. And then they saw the Statue of Liberty for the first time and they were just like, that is what we were waiting for, you know, because they're like, okay, we're on a boat. And then they don't, they didn't really believe it until you actually see it. It is kind of an amazing moment when you can see what you've been waiting for, you know, the whole time. So they saw her, they saw her and they were so super excited. Um, the bottom half of the brown part is called the pedestal. So we um, climbed to the pedestal and um, we had pedestal tickets, not crown tickets. You can cl climb to the crown, but we just, um, you have to get those tickets three months in advance, which we had thought about, but then we decided that we wanted to do it all as a family because you can only have four people climb and then it wouldn't have really been fair for other people and all that type of stuff. But really it's 195 steps to get up that pedestal and it's actually quite a bit of work. I had to stop a couple times. I was wearing the baby and um, I had to stop a couple of times because my shoulder was bugging me and yep, there we are at Ellis Island. Um, so we went to Ellis Island first, which was a huge building. I didn't realize how big it was going to be and just the like architecture and stuff like in and outside the building to me was just amazing. I love looking at old archi architecture, if that's a word, I'm not quite sure. Um, I love looking at that actually on the way down, they had like stone walls and it was really cool. Um, so they were just checking out everything. These were some of the outfits that, um, that a family came in on. So they have that in one area. Um, I think that was on the third floor. They actually participate in like the junior ranger program. So we got a booklet and we were taking the junior ranger like programs. So there's different things that they have to find throughout the museum. Um, some people were interested in it. Some people weren't interested in it. I think the Ellis Island is really cool and interesting for older people. Um, the younger kids were kind of bored. At the same time, they did do fairly well and walked around and um, they got to experience different things there. They actually really liked on the second floor, second or third floor, there were these massive pictures and just the like expressions on people's faces and they were like real life people. It really made them like almost engage more than seeing the artifacts of Ellis Island. So yeah, it was um, my one daughter, she was like, I didn't know there was different money, which I should actually go into more because she doesn't, re she didn't realize that there was like different money nowadays, that different countries have different sorts of money. Um, things that you realize that your children don't know until they express that. So she was all excited about that. This was so cool. If you've ever been to Ellis Island, this room right here is usually packed with people but because it was the first trip in the morning and because the weather was so horrible we had this whole room to ourselves um i think there was maybe one person you can see way over to the right that was leaving the room but this whole room was to ourselves um it was really kind of an amazing feeling just to be there it's the ceiling so high and just like up top, oh, it's just so amazing. So then we went around and we went to the statue. So this bottom part is the pedestal section and that's what we went up. So you go in and you have to go through um, another set of security 
after you've already been through security. So this is another set of security that you need to go through, like remove bags, take your jackets off, all that type of stuff. We didn't have to take our shoes off, which was good because that's such a pain to like take people's shoes off and put it back on, but we got it through it. Okay, so this is, I don't know if you can see in the di distance, the Tappan Zee Bridge and um, the Statue of Liberty. We could see both. So the girl to the left behind her, there's like two sticks kind of sticking up and the Tappan Zee Bridge is over there. Actually, they renamed it, I believe, the Kimono Bridge, um, but most people know it as the Tappan Zee. I believe that's the Tappan Zee Bridge. I don't know. It's the really pretty bridge that has the two arches. I should look that up. Um, so yeah, she was on the boat. This is the upper deck um, of the ferry. We had to get on the ferry three times. So you go from um, the ferry to um, Ellis Island and then you go from Ellis Island to the Statue of Liberty. And then you go from the Statue of Liberty back to New Jersey. So you just have to make sure that you stay on the New Jersey boats and not the um, New York boats, but they pretty much call out like New York or New Jersey. And they're all handicap accessible. On the way, um, on the way back, we actually met a um, family with a little boy who was able to get on and off these ferries. Um, and in a lot of the areas, like in the statue, he was able to get up the pedestal. Um, so if you have a child that is handicapped, wheelchair bound child, um, or adult or anything, um, it is handicap accessible, and I was really excited with that, and it was really neat to see that family. So yeah, just some candid shots of everyone being excited for the Statue of Liberty. Um, my daughter, she wanted to take a picture. She kept being like, can I take the picture? I want to take a picture with you. We can take a picture together. Um, so we took a picture together. The statue is behind us. I don't know if it's going to come out well in this um, picture or not. I was trying to shrink it down so you could see the Statue of Liberty behind us. Um, I'm sure if I print it off for her, that's what she wanted. Um, that it will come out fine. So this is the statue from the boat, um, from the ferry. You can get a really clear, they slow right down at like different points. The ferry does not go fast, um, especially in that area. So you're able to take all your pictures that you want to. The boats still were not crazy by the time we went there. I don't think that they, the Jersey size side ever gets crazy. So if you are to go to the Statue of Liberty, I would highly rec recommend going out of Jersey because out of New York, we could see the ferries were so full. I mean, there was probably like hundreds of people where the Jersey side only had like maybe 150 people. So there was really a huge difference. So this I thought was so cute. We were waiting for the ferry, so we walked along this side. This is on Ellis Island, and on half of Ellis Island, you can see like a full scope of the city. As you can see, the clouds lifted, so we were able to see it. This was actually probably my favorite spot because it was just so cool to look to the left, or one of my favorite spots, to look to the left and see the city. This is what you saw from the left of that area. Um, and you could see the Eiffel Tower, no, the Empire State Building. And um, then on the other side, you could see the um, Statue of Liberty right on the other side. So it was just like a triangle and you could see either. And it was just kind of like you're standing there and you turn one way and you see the city and then you turn the other way and you could see the statue. It was really just kind of incredible. So... Good night. They were all ready. Off to our next adventure.